Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here, playing some more Chronicle RuneScape Legends. In the first video, I explained how the game works. In this video, we're actually going to go ahead and hop into the ranked mode and play a game. Uh, as I said before, there are like different leagues in ranked mode. You start in Bronze League, then you go to Silver, then you progress to Gold. And I've managed to make it to Gold... Um, just today, actually, for the first time. It was pretty cool. In this game, unlike in Hearthstone, you actually get pretty good rewards. Like, for making it to gold rank, I got a free pack and um, a 1,000 coppers, which is the equivalent of 100 gold in Hearthstone. So it's kind of like getting two free packs or a pack plus money for the arena. So I was pretty pretty happy about that. I'm playing as Vanescula the Vampire. This is a really simple deck. I'm not a very good deck builder, so I like to keep things simple. This deck just uh, tries to deal a lot of damage. Um, the Vampire has lifesteal, predictably. Quickly, um, the way that lifesteal works in this game is that you um, have to have, like, health missing in order for lifesteal to work. So if you're at full health, you can't lifesteal. So that's one of the challenging things about playing with this vampire. Playing against the raptor here, he's really good at getting armor, which is which makes him a tough opponent to kill because, of course... Um, you know, he's going to just heal up a whole lot over the course of the game, and it's going to make it difficult for me to finish him out with my burn deck. Or probably, not that I know what this guy's playing with, but he's in gold league, so I'm assuming he's got decent cards. Anyway, first round, very simple. We're going to draw a card, get some gold, get some more gold, and then beef up our attack value here. So that in the following turn, I can uh, kill one of the three health minions. My opponent played a wolf. Which I'm pretty happy to see. He's going to take 5 damage here. 3 for when the wolf attacks him. And then another 2 for the wolf's uh, text box. But he does get 2 cards compared to my 1. And he's the second player, so we had an extra card to start with. Okay, he plays this guy. This guy is really interesting. It um, gives you an attack power, but you have to discard a random card to use it. I'm actually usually pretty happy when my opponents play it. Um, I find that it's sort of a trap card. I don't know, I don't really like using it. Because I find that discarding a random card is just like really, really bad. So now my opponent is only one card ahead of me here. And then he's got... this. this the, the Raptor's got cards like this where uh, you, he removes a bunch of health but then gains a bunch of armor, which can be a good thing because um, a lot of Vanescula, the Vampire's cards, uh, bypass armor since they um, steal health, for instance. So um, hopefully that'll you know work in my favor here. We shall see. So right now I actually have a really shitty hand because I have like... These guys, which are both redundant, they kind of they each give a weapon, as you can see, so I don't really, like, need them right now. We'll go ahead and pop some damage, get a weapon, use the weapon to kill the wolf. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take out this guy. So this guy's interesting. He steals four health from the rival. You do need to be missing four health to be able to use him, but I should be because he's going to hit me once, I think. No, he's going to hit me once before I kill him. So yeah, I'm going to end up healing back up to full, which is not necessarily that good. As Vanescula, I really do want to um, go a little bit lower in health so that I can take advantage of some of my life-stealing cards. He spent six armors to kill his next creature. I'm afraid this is going to be something really good. Talk hard cat, spend four armor, gain two base deck. Oh my god, this is so amazing! So I did, I did damage to him, so he can't spend the armor, so he doesn't actually gain his base attack, which is really nice. So, me dealing damage to him ended up being very helpful. Alright, and then he's going to just get some gold from that skeleton. So, the difference between spend and remove, as I mentioned before, is pretty significant. Spend, you actually have to have it. Remove, you don't. Alright, so what's the situation here? He's going to be down to just two cards, so he's mostly in top deck mode. He actually doesn't have that much armor here at the moment. He might be like a free-to-play person like me and doesn't have all the crazy cards. Um... So, um, also he's not playing that well because he only had like two armor to spare. He got to figure out I was going to deal some damage to him. Right now I've got these two lifesteal cards though that I can't use them at full health. And I don't have any way to really hurt myself. So this is actually kind of awkward. Uh, I'm going to definitely draw a card here. I guess we'll get some money. And I could get a weapon, but I don't actually necessarily want a weapon. I want to be able to take damage and be hurt. This is actually a pretty awful round for me because I um, wasn't able to damage my opponent and I wasn't able to damage myself either. So I've kind of given up the initiative here. I would have liked to see some more damaging cards. But as you can see, the raptor here is just picking up tons of armor. 
and healing himself up a little bit, which really plays to his strengths more than to mine, just to have a long, slow game where nothing much happens. Uh, all right, he ended up not playing two of his cards this round. Remember, you don't have to play all four cards. You can hold on to some. I'm still beating him on cards, but he's now got 27 health, and I don't have any of my good damage cards, and I can't play any of my lifesteal cards. If this goes to showdown, I'm almost certainly going to lose. I can't even play like... I mean, I can play this and get the two gold, but I won't even steal a health from him because I'm at full health. Okay, so we got Gorge. Gorge is a really good card. If you're at mortal, meaning at half health, you steal up to six health from a rival, which is really, really good. Unfortunately, I cannot get that low. It's so frustrating. Well, we'll kill this wolf. That'll deal five damage to me. And then I guess we'll hit him. And then we'll hit him again. And then we'll play the Barbarian Warrior. Because it's the only like really playable card that I have. Gain three health to maximum. Very interesting. He is going to have to get hit by this, what, four times? Um, in order to actually get that maximum health. So I'm assuming he's got some kind of trick up his sleeve to make getting hit four times worth it. Okay, he actually almost... I don't, I don't know what he's doing. He almost died. Oh, oh, I see. Gain. It's not gain health to max. It's just he just maxes out his health. I see. Okay. So maybe if I had hit him, he was down to three health. Oh man, maybe if I had hurt him more, I could have actually killed him there, because he went all the way down to three when he did that. Oh, shit. And I was, see, a lot of times in this game, you have a, like a small window to kill the other person. And uh, that was my window, and I missed it. So, I mean, I don't know if I could have predicted he was going to play a card like that, but... Alright, so what's the situation here? He's got three cards to my five. He's got 27 health, I've got 24. I mean, I guess I'm not doing terribly... But if this goes to showdown, again, he's just likely to come out ahead because he's probably going to have a bunch of armor by then. I can't play any of this lifesteal stuff, so I got these werewolves. These do 8 damage if you're at 15 health or last 4 damage otherwise. And it's actually kind of awkward. I don't necessarily want to have 5 attack. I kind of would like one of these guys to hit me so that I can deal more damage to my opponent. Well, so I'm just going to waste my weapon ticks on these guys. Um, and then, I guess... Crap. The thing is, I'm still going to have one more tick of my weapon. Well, I'm the thing I can do. I guess we'll just play this dude. And so, see, I'm going to be at 22, then down to 20. And then I'll be out of my weapon, so I'll be able to hit this guy, go down to 12, and then pop him for 8. All right, so I'm dealing a lot of damage to him this round. I'm going to deal 20 damage to him here. Unfortunately, he is, as predicted, getting some more armor. Luckily, he's going to take 7 damage before he gets this armor, because this thing has 5 health, and he's only hitting it for 4. But he is going to get, um, 9 armor. And unfortunately, none of my stuff is lifesteal. It's all, it's all, uh, armor. Alright, this is actually nice that I'm first, because I, I deal 4 damage to him. So he heals for less with this thing that gives him health equal to his armor. That can be a brutal card if the person goes, takes their health all the way down and then gets a bunch of armor. They can basically heal up to full with it. Alright, so then he deals 3 damages to me and I lose weapon durability. Which doesn't matter because I already killed the thing. So it's going to be a close game. I'm going to go down to 9 health. Oh wow. Deal 5 damage to rival and then remove 4 of durability from rival. Okay, so this is really interesting. He's going to get me all the way down to 5. But me being that low isn't necessarily a bad thing because I think I have both of my gorges. Um, which steal 6 life if you're immortal. And I'm going to be able to use... Oh, wait, we're in the final round? Oh, my God, I'm an idiot. Right, I, there's no chapter after this. Right, I'm terrible at this game. Well, anyway, uh, I lost. So I wasn't quite able to kill him when I had that chance. I really needed for there to be one more chapter um, so that I could have used my gorges. As it was, um, maybe if I had played a gorge as my final card instead of the vampire, then I might have been able to win. So anyway, that was interesting. Uh, you got to see an example of gameplay. Hey, I just hit level 15, which gives a pack. So leveling up your characters in this game is actually really cool because you get good rewards for it. In Hearthstone, your first few levels, you get a... Um, I actually don't know what that is. Your first few levels, you get your basic cards, and it works the same way in this game. Your first few levels, leveling up a character, which, you know, you get in a few hours. Uh, not even that, just a few games, basically. Um, you get your basic cards, and then after that, you start getting good rewards. Like here, I got a free pack. You also get some uh, shards, which are this game's version of dust. Um, you also get good rewards for getting up in the in the leagues, like I said. So the rewards for leveling up are actually solid, whereas in Hearthstone you level up your characters and you get, like, you know, gold versions of shitty cards. Um, and, like, when you level up in the ranked mode, you get, like, random golden cards. 
And that wasn't even implemented for like the first couple of years of the game. Since I got a pack, might as well go ahead and open it up here. So um, I want to show you some of the cards you can get. Uh, mostly, the new cards you get are very specialized. Okay, this is this is actually a really good card. This is um, a, a common card. This is the Sapphire. Sapphire means common. So spend for armor and gain a 3-6 swap. And this is insane. This is uh, really, really good. So usually, you know, that when you're um, playing against someone who's got this card, that they've opened up some packs, or at least they knew what to craft. So as the as the Raptor, the Armor Man, it's not that hard to get 4 armor. And then a 3-6 weapon is crazy awesome. So that's a really good card. Glad to have that. This is, you know... Two temporary attack, that means for just one fight, your attack increases by two, no matter how many times you hit the monster. It's a bit specialized. I also get a couple armor with this one. So yeah, here, here's an example thing. If, like, if Rival has the most total attack, gain one base attack. So like, you can get base attack with it, but it's, again, a specialized card. There's not a lot of stuff that's just like, you know, super strong. Uh, this thing, I might actually use steal up to eight health from Rival. I mean, that is that is pretty strong. It's got 13 health. So it's obviously very difficult to kill, and it hits you for 7. But if you can get a pretty high attack, that can be good. And this is a ruby, which is the equivalent of an epic. Green is the equivalent of rare. And then the last card here, strike rival with their weapon, remove weapon from rivals. This is really great if you know that you're playing against someone who's got weapons, but if you don't necessarily know that your person is going to be uh, using weapons, you know, you don't... It's not like that's like a super, super duper strong card. This is actually a legendary. Wow, I got a really great pack here. Common, rare... Epic, and then Legendary is this weird starfish-shaped thing. So that's nice to have as, like, weapon hate, if you're seeing a lot of weapons, you know, in your in your ladder. But again, it's not just, like, a, a blatantly overpowered thing just because you opened it up in the pack. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.